Fire Mountain Trails is 10 and a half miles of purpose-built single track. It opened in June 9th, 2018. It has a little something for everybody. It has something for the most advanced rider, something uh, for the, um, the, the beginning rider. Unfortunately, with our topography here, it's very difficult to have just uh, the, the quintessential green trail. Um, there is challenge to everything we have, but nonetheless, the diversity is good. My name is Jeremy Hyatt. I am the Secretary of Operations for the Eastern Band of Cherokee Indians, right here on the Koala Boundary in Cherokee, North Carolina. We are a community of about 16,000 enrolled members. Nine to 10,000 live here on the Koala Boundary uh, in Western North Carolina. Uh, it is a rural, close-knit type community with lots of wonderful natural resources and uh, lots of wonderful people. Uh, it is, it's like walking through a postcard here. We, re we really are proud of, of where we're from and, and who we are as a people living here in Cherokee. The original idea for Fire Mountain Trails came from a young woman who worked in the project management program. Her name is uh, Tanya Tinker Jinks. She's a local enrolled member. She's a outdoors person herself. Her idea to get people activated and moving the local community. We have a significant amount of obesity and uh, diabetes here on the boundary. She wanted to offer another opportunity for folks to get out other than our ball sports opportunities that we have here. Funding was secured for design for the trails in 2014 and fast forward to June 9th, 2018, we were able to open up Fire Mountain Trails as it is today. And I think to this point, it has been a success in terms of getting our local people out and taking advantage of our natural resources. I um, was introduced to Trail Lab by our uh, local Sorba chapter, the Nanahala area Sorba. It was presented to me saying it's an opportunity for folks within municipalities to get a better understanding of uh, what can be accomplished within your local community uh, regarding uh, mountain biking specifically. Since we've opened up Fire Mountain, I've always had an interest in seeing what more we could do. When I got to Trail Lab, it was a truly eye-opening experience. I had a wonderful time, had some really great folks putting on the event. It really opened my eyes to some of the things we could have done a little bit better. I think we've done a fine job and we've gotten lucky by doing that, but going to Trail Labs, if I would have done that before we had ever started this process, I think we could have done it a touch smarter. Having said that, uh, like I said, I think we are a bit lucky that we have been able to be so successful. What it has opened my eyes to is, uh, is activating the local community into this Fire Mountain opportunity. One thing I wanted to mention that we learned so much from Trail Lab is that you have to have engagement from the local community. What's the best way to engage the local community? Well, you, it's mountain biking. It's not necessarily everyone does it. You want to create a entry level, an entry point, so that kids and their parents are being able to get into this activity together. So if we can create the entry point at least by creating a bicycle playground, perhaps, a something like I saw in Bentonville at the uh, runway bike park, perhaps some pump tracks, perhaps those types of things and have the connectivity so that you can go from one to the other without really getting in your car. I learned a lot of that when I was at, um, when I was at Trail Lab on how to do that and I've really taken that to heart in terms of our planning moving forward and I think Trail Solutions is going to help us see that vision moving forward as well. You create that entry point so low, you need to have you, you want to do that. Because then once you get that engagement, they're just gonna to continue to build and build and build. We wanna create that progressive uh, um, idea moving forward in our community when it comes to mountain biking. As we move forward in terms of building, in terms of expansion, the Trail Lab uh, workshop has really opened my eyes to the best way to go about doing that and to doing it smartly and to doing it, making sure we're, we're utilizing the resources that we have. The Trail Lab experience was terrific and I'm still using it today. Another uh, 30, 40, 50 miles would be great. I'd love to have that. That's the ultimate goal. And I think in, in utilizing Trail Lab, and now as we move forward into planning that, we're utilizing uh, Imatrel Solutions. And uh, that's been a pretty good experience thus far. We hope that they're gonna help us create a master plan moving forward so that we can see the vision before we move, before we get in over our heads and doing making the wrong move. Yeah, I've not had very many complaints about what we have to offer here. 
The only thing we can do is just offer more of it. That's what people are really, that's the, that's the main critique of Fire Mountain is we want more, we want more, we want more. And I don't necessarily think that's a critique. That's kind of a good problem to have. We have to diversify our economy. I think tapping into that ecotourism, mountain biking, fishing, all of those types of things, tapping into that outdoor economy, it seems to be growing. The data I have is one of the biggest and fastest growing economic drivers in the nation. We want to grab a piece of that. We're in the perfect spot for it. We have the natural resources. We have, currently we have the resources to put the infrastructure in place. You know, one thing I haven't mentioned is the culture and tradition that we have here. It's so rich. We need to make sure we include that as well. Being good stewards of the property, being good stewards of the land, and everything we move forward, that's traditionally the Cherokee way of doing it. The ultimate vision of my community is to create an outdoor recreation uh, mecca. I'd love to do that here. That's, of course, the, the pie in the sky type of thing. I think we can take small measures each and every day, each and every week, each and every month. Every year, we have the resources here to do it, to create that, and I think, if our community and our government, our tribal government, really focused on making that happen, I truly believe we could. That is the ultimate goal.